Hey, so when you're setting up a LoRaWAN gateway, you usually want to test the coverage. And one way of doing so is by using a field test device. For example, this one from Adonis, it's the Adonis field tester. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up in Datacake to store the data. It uh, transmits and visualize it on a map and also how you can configure this device because you can't configure it via downlinks, but you have to connect it via USB to your computer. So. First, to get started, I'm going to um, add it to Datacake. So um, I have already set it up in the uh, ThingStack cloud, so connected um, it to an application there. And what I've also done is I have set up the Datacake webhook integration. Um, so on Datacake, um, the only thing you need to do is to click Add Device choose new product from template and I'm going to search for the Doinus field test device. Then we are going to choose the ThingStack V3. Um, it works with all the other uh, lower network servers as well, of course. Then enter the um, dev URI and give it a name, Doinus field test there. Choose next. We are going to set this up on the free plan, which has seven days data retention. Click Add Device. And now if we go into this device, um, we can see that it uh, has no data. And that's because the default sending interval is set to 10 minutes. And I'm going to show you in a second how you can change this. But in the meantime, you can uh, simply press the button, which will trigger an uplink. And um, as you can see, temperature, battery voltage, has been transmitted as well and I think yeah it has no GPS fix inside so that's why the uh, map is still centered somewhere in the middle of nowhere which is uh, LAN. So um, as I said um, you want to configure this device to um, decrease the or increase the sending interval and to do so you um, first have to connect it via USB to your computer via a micro USB cable. Next, you will need a, a serial um, terminal application and I've chosen a uh, cool term for macOS, which is a free application. So um, in the options, I'm going to choose the um, corresponding device, set the baud rate to um, 115K and the rest is uh, default settings. So um, data bits eight, um, parity none and one stop bit. So I'm going to click OK and connect to the device. So um, now we have to send some data to the device to um, get it into the so-called command mode. To do so, you um, have to send this um, hex string to the device which is coming from the manual and if I click send I don't know if you can see it, but now it says it's in command mode, which um, it also confirmed by returning CM. So everything we're sending from now is uh, going to be um, ASCII characters and not hexadecimal. So um, yeah, the device stores the sending interval in um, a parameter uh, with the number 380. So to query it, I'm going to type ATS 380 question mark. Um, Line break is important, click send. And now it returns um, S380 equals 600, 600 seconds, which uh, corresponds to 10 minutes. So to change it, simply going to uh, send ATS380 equals, uh, for example, 10, uh, so 10 seconds. Click send and the device sent back an O, which stands for OK. If there was an error, it would have returned an, an E. So to see if it worked, we can query um, parameter again. And yeah, now it's set to 10. And um, yeah, to leave the command mode, we're going to input 80, oops, 80, oh. Yeah, so now the device is back in normal mode and we can now safely disconnect from the device. So. Um, now we're going to see that the device is sending data every 10 seconds and you see it also updating on the dedicated dashboard. Amazing. 
So um, as I said, this has no GPS fix inside, but I took this device outside yesterday for a walk. And um, this is what it looks like if it actually has some data. So here you can see it on a map. And you can actually see that the coverage of the uh, work wireless gateway I put onto my rooftop is um, quite impressive. So this is something like seven kilometers. So um, this, is, this is really good. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. And if you have questions, please let us know in the comments.